I was diagnosed right after I finished my junior year in college. You know, it definitely knocked me off my feet. But, you know, the doctor was encouraging, told me that the prognosis was really good. It was only a matter of time before I'd be well. By the end of the summer, I had convinced both myself and my family that I was well enough that I could return to school. On October 8th, I had my first PET scan since starting treatment. And the doctor was expecting to see a complete response, meaning all the cancer would be gone. But it's 6 p.m. on a Friday, and I get a call from my oncologist to look at my phone and see my oncologist calling me. It was just, I knew something wasn't right. I was in a small percentage of Hodgkin's patients that have a cancer that's particularly resilient to just about anything you throw at it. I would need to start a more aggressive regimen. And the way my doctor described it to me was that we're going to get you as close to death as possible without killing you. And then we're going to reintroduce your stem cells and allow them to basically rebuild your body from scratch. Up until this point, I had maintained this mindset that, you know, it was just a matter of time before I would get better. And now I have my doctor telling me that you have a really resilient form of cancer. This is going to be hard to treat. And for the first time, as a 21-year-old, I started to think that death might be a lot closer around the corner than, than I'd hoped for. I remember going into the hospital that day. And every time you go into the hospital as an inpatient, you get this welcome package, a gown and a pair of these non-slip socks. And I was staring at those ugly socks, and I was just, just didn't want to be there in the least bit. So I actually participated in a small rebellion. And that rebellion was, was wearing my own socks. <laughs> you know, I had a, you know, a collection of really fun, loud, bright socks. Socks with fish, socks with wolves. When you're in the hospital for 25 days and your hairless face is becoming more bony, your eyes more sunken, your muscle beginning to atrophy, and you look down and you see a pair of bright socks. I mean, how can you not smile? And that was the foundation of resilience. We work directly with a patient to design a pair of socks that's representative of what they're going through. They get to wear those socks to chemo. They get to wear those socks to the hospital. And you can buy the same pair of socks on our website. We're working with patients that are struggling to pay for care. And when you buy a pair, we donate half of net proceeds to help that person get the treatment they need to survive. You're showing them that you are supporting them in their struggle. And not only that, you're participating in that same small rebellion. That is the essence of these socks. That is the essence of resilience.